you the truth. To offend you just a little bit. Where you'll say, look, I repent. This dude knows. I don't know how he knows that I was clapping my hands and shaking my behind so that that man up there can see me. I don't know where he got. I'm telling you, Holy Spirit is trying to tell y'all something. Quit playing church. Quit playing church. Jesus came to pay the price so that we could have a relationship with God. Hell wasn't intended for you. Hell wasn't intended for me. It was intended for the one who put himself above God. The one who lacked the fear of God. God went ahead and created this place that he and the one third of the angels that followed his idea are going to spend eternity. But guess what? You make the choice whether you want to hang out with them for the rest of your life or not. You make that choice. I'm trying to help you not go there. But it takes the fear of God not to get you to that place. The fear of God is what establishes a love, intimacy, to want to serve God to the best of your ability. I hear people tell me all the time. They call me on the phone. They text me. Well, you don't understand, Ray. I'm not perfect. You know what? I knew you back in the day. and You're a lot better than you were then. So you're being perfected every day that you're not going and you're shooting up. Every day you're not hitting that blunt. Every day that you don't go and look at pornography. You're getting better. You're being perfected by the presence of God. That's what you need to understand. You're not perfect yet. But you got to strive to get there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. What does the real, the fear of God really mean? Let me tell you what it really means. Because let me tell you, there's a reason why we're going here. See, many of you have called and asked me, hey, how do I develop this relationship with God? How do I get to a place of being intimate with God. Well, let me tell you, if you have your Bibles, and I'm going to read the whole chapter. See, that's the problem. We're not reading the word enough. This is the only word some of you are going to get all week long. So don't complain because I'm reading the whole chapter. Oh, yeah, it got quiet up in this place. See, if we were to tell the truth, how often do you really read your Bible? There's times I find your Bible here. Then what sword are you using to fight an enemy? Because if the word is not in your heart, you're going to come out of the flesh when a problem comes. You're going to curse somebody out. You're going to flip them off. Why? Because you're not in the word. The word is what renews your mind. The word is what builds you up. The word is what strengthens you. The word is Jesus Christ. And all you have to do is open it. Quit being lazy. Man, they made it so easy. Now you hit 